Hi, welcome to my Absolute Beginners Fashion Rebellion Choosing a Sewing Machine tutorial. My name is Amanda Riley and I'm a designer, maker, teacher and founder of a little fashion school in London called The Fashion Factory where I teach people how to alter, mend and upcycle old clothes into cool new ones. So if you want to learn to do that, you're going to need a sewing machine. My advice is to keep it simple. I'll show you what I use. So this is a really basic sewing machine. It's a complete workhorse and because it's so simple to use, um, it will keep you going. It's easy to learn. There's nothing to really go wrong. There's no digital display or flashing lights. So because there's very little to go wrong and it's easy to learn, it should keep you sewing um, and keep your interest. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, with a basic machine like this, you're going to have the same features. They might not all be in the same place, uh, depending on the make you have, but you're going to have a stitch whip somewhere. You've got a stitch selector here. You've got stitch length, and then you have a reverse lever. Um, you'll probably have a few basic um, embroidery stitches, and um, you've got your power cable plugged in on the side here. Um, your foot pedal, sometimes foot pedals come with a slow setting, which is really good for beginners. So it's great if you can find a machine that does have that as an option. Um, you can get a basic Genome model for around £100. And also Elna do um, a good basic model as well. So as long as you've got those functions, you're going to find, you're going to find uh, your sewing journey starts quite smoothly. As I'm the queen of upcycling, I will need to tell you about upcycling an old sewing machine. Whoops. Um, so this is an old 80s model. This is what I used when I was a kid. And you might find that you have a family member, a grandma or an auntie or somebody else that you know that has an old one sitting in a cupboard somewhere that you could use. It might be in really good working condition because they were very well made. Um, so I would suggest that you get that out and plug it in and see if it works. Um, it's a good idea to um, have, a, have it serviced um, if you think it's got a problem and a service can cost about 40 to 60 pounds um, depending on where you live um, so they will fix any problems for you but the old machines were actually really really good they usually have um, a metal case um, which means that they don't vibrate when you're sewing so they don't vibrate screws loose and stuff so that's the real upside to them on the downside they are much heavier than the modern machines um, but they have the same basic functions. You'll have a straight stitch, you'll have a zigzag, you'll have your reverse button or lever and a stitch width, stitch length. Um, there's lots of embroidery stitches on this but I think I probably didn't use most of them. Um, and yeah, so it's it, this is a, a really good machine and there's nothing again to really go wrong. Um, the good thing to, if you are going to use an old machine um, get some fine grade sewing machine oil. Don't use any old oil. It needs to be a fine grade um, oil, especially for sewing machines. Um, and with a toothbrush as well, if you just clean inside, clean all the moving parts, this opens up, clean it all out, and then just put a little drop of oil where it needs it. Um, great way of upcycling an old machine. Um, so my next tutorial will be how to thread up.